Fast Lawyer VR Reviews. For sexy VR reviews, hit the subscribe button. Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to review Vet VR Veterinary Simulator, a game that I actually did a Should I Buy series on where I played the demo and I did not end up recommending buying the game based on the demo. And actually, I still stand by that video. I don't recommend this game for most gamers. However, I did end up buying this game. And the reason for that is I was curious whether this game had any educational merit to it. And the answer is it really depends on what you're trying to get from this app. I think it's a useful educational aid, but there's just no way you're really going to learn how to become a vet from this game. This game is a useful aid if you're already learning to become a vet from a university or college or some technical school or you're already a tech in the field and this is a useful aid to learn some processes involved which can be helpful in your career. But Vet VR Veterinary Simulator is really not a game at all. It's an educational aid if you're already learning to become a vet and it has some useful applications for your day-to-day -day job and if you're not in that particular situation I would only recommend this for VR enthusiasts who are just very curious about being a vet and are okay with a simulation that's not really gamified and what this game is is really just a different set of scenarios that vets may encounter using some of their tools most of these scenarios are guided so you just have to follow the instructions but some of these scenarios you actually don't don't have enough information to accurately give a correct diagnosis and in fact in this video the last two scenes that I show are situations where you just don't have enough information to be able to do these scenarios in any kind of meaningful way uh, the next last one is just a guess you have no proper training you have not been given enough information to make a correct diagnosis and the last scene is just the exam which you have no way of getting these answers is correct unless you've already been studying this material which is not in the game at all so let's talk about some of the technical aspects of this game vet vr released march 6 2023 on the steam store in early access it normally retails for 20 dollars. i bought it on a steam sale i believe it was 20 percent off if i'm not mistaken i tested this game out on the meta quest 2 using link cable i completed all the scenarios in a little under two hours i did not do the exam though. I believe there's five scenarios for new hire, there's six scenarios for vet in training, and there's three scenarios for junior vet. The big difference is that once you reach the junior vet level, there's really not much guidance in doing these diagnoses. Vet VR is running on the Unity engine. On my RTX 3080, I was getting a steady 90 frames per second. I did not experience any serious issues or bugs. You do you have full locomotion and teleportation available along with snap turning. You can easily adjust your height within the settings so you can play comfortably seated. You do have these lasers by default pointing out of your hands and they work as two functions either to teleport or to select menu UI item selections but you can turn these lasers off. A lot of the VR interactions are very simple point and click interactions with some very basic animations. It definitely lacks overall polish, overall immersion here, but it gets the job done as far as the goal of learning. And although these interactions are very simple, they still will give you a leg up in using these tools as you'll be familiar with them, but obviously you're not going to have the same touch and feel as in real life, especially with these very basic interactions. The visuals and sounds here are also not top quality. And and again, it takes away some of the immersion, but the goal here is learning and these visuals are okay for those purposes. Lastly, I do want to mention that this game does lack content. Currently, all the scenarios involve dogs. There are no cats at all. There's no dealing with people at all. Some of the scenarios are just learning how to use the machine where you're guided step by step. And the weirdest part for me was calculating the medicine dosage and you just basically have this calculator where you do a simple equation but again the whole process is very clunky overall the game 
and just lacks polish. So overall, I do think this app is kind of interesting. It's useful as a primer for vet students or for technicians at a vet office as a first day on the job type training. But I definitely don't think this app would appeal to most gamers unless you're like me and you just like interesting new experiences in VR. I can't personally say I had fun playing this game, but I think I learned something about being a vet, even though I know after playing this, there's no way I could correctly diagnose any sick dog. But I do appreciate that this type of app can help vet students or techs learn how to be a vet in the future or learn how to do their job as a starting out process. So I'm going to give this app a 5.5 out of 10. It does have a lot of potential. It is an early access so the developers are still working on it and hopefully in the future it's just more polished and has a lot more content. But for now, this is the best I can score this experience because it is very rough around the edges right now in early access. But hopefully in the future, it's a much better experience for everyone. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my review for Vet VR Veterinary Simulator. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day and enjoy the rest of the video.